Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Marion. I'm um, hanging out with my fiance. Hey! Yeah, Aisha. Yeah, the only girl I dispense bullets for. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, to Scotty Kinder. Scotty Kinder asked a question about how to do sprouts. Um, so, I got enough sprouts kind of already set aside to, to do, um, you know, for, for our needs. And um, so, I wanted to do something real quick. And it's really easy in like three minutes, preferably. All right, so hold on. Now, remember how I kept talking about scavenging like old jars? Well, this used to be like picante sauce or salsa or something. Well, okay, for, for, for the machines out there that are looking for brand names or whatever, um, watch yourself, sweetie. Um, you just take, a, you take an old jar, you wash it out with bleach. Uh, to make sure it's clean and then I like wash mine in boiling water because I'm just like OCD with that stuff so it's simple it's simple uh, so Scotty it's this you take a jar you go to the pantry you grab whatever bean or whatever sprout of your choice uh, whatever bean or lentil of your choice um, one of these oh here it is when I open them I stick them in another bag so what is it? Oh, I ain't worried about that. But my fiance is helping me because she know I forget. So, um, uh oh. So in this little bag is a bag of open lentils, and I just eyeball it. Um, just enough to cover the bottom of the of the thing here. So in the jar, uh, in the jar, you know, here we go. Enough to cover the bottom. Of I am clumsy. Alright, so, yeah. Um, so that's simple. And you throw it in a bag, and you try not to spill anything. And my fiance so lovingly grabs the ones that I waste. And, alright, this is gonna be more than three minutes. And what you do is you take this jar. And you throw this the water in on top of it. Doesn't matter how full for me, I just halfway full or whatever. And you stick it in your pantry where it's dark for the first day. And every day you rinse them and put water back on them. And then at night you rinse them and you put water back on them. Some people say twice a day. Um, I found once a day works for my needs. And if you look real close, they're developing sprouts. These are kind of like a day two. Now, there are YouTube videos that I'll link. Like I say, nobody has a monopoly on knowledge. Um, I'll put a link up to one that's like has it really intricately done where it shows you every single day of how the sprouts progress. But at the end of the day, you have a bean sprout that gives you some like fresh nutritional value um, and it's very potent. Sprouts are the most potent way to eat. Sprouted seeds, sprouted beans are the most potent way to get nutrients. This is the catch. Beans have, I think it's called tannins. I could be off, but beans have a substance that you got to cook the sprout. To get the to get the substance off there, and once you stir fry it in to to your uh, stir fry it in to your, uh, your your stir fry rice, stir fry noodles, um, you know, and you cook it or cook it in your stews or whatever, those sprouts have nutritional value. Please do uh, do your own additional research to make sure that what you're sprouting, because there's a lot of things that can sprout before you try to eat them raw. Some sprouts can be eaten raw, some sprouts can't. But um, just do your own due diligence. But that's just what I do. And because lentils are one of the beans that I use, one of the 60 pounds of beans that I get per year, then um, that provides um, a little bit of a variation. Um, sometimes I'll do sprouts stir-fried with uh, wheat noodles or whatever. Um, and I still get that protein value that I would get if it were boiled beans. You know, because boiled beans and cornbread... For some time, for some people, it gets old. So that's what's up. 
took about five minutes. Love y'all. God will do it.